was late on a Monday evening and I was up packing because we were going on a, a uh, Christmas holiday. The electricity that night was was um, going crazy. So Greg decided to go out and check the fuse box. I noticed a lot of sparks coming from the power pole out the front of the street. Ah. So straight away, I've switched off the power to the house. Is Santa coming, Mark? No, I got some candles and little tea light candles and put them around the place because it was pitch black. Won't be too long. I was lighting the kerosene lamp to get some more light. We'll have some fun. I couldn't find Just any kerosene around, so I went and got the methylated spirits. I just wanted to give the kids a different experience, you know, with the lantern. Sort of be like olden days. Yeah. <laughs> the power of the, um, the explosion. It was like a, a massive bomb. We all got fire. Mum was screaming and Jen and Josh were screaming, all screaming. I saw orange and yellow flames coming at me and knocked me right on the ground, threw me right on the ground. I saw Mom, Jaden and Jess on fire. It was a nightmare and very scary, very frightening. Just all of us were screaming at the top of our lungs and... And all I could think of is the house is going to burn down and I'm going to lose my life and my three children's life. The kids were in so much pain, the screaming was just... It was intolerable. It was... It was a really awful scream. And I was saying, I'm on fire, I'm on fire, and then everyone else was going, the house is on fire, the mum's on fire, the everything's on fire. It was like the worst nightmare in the world. When I looked at my children, all the skin was off them, hanging off their arms and on their stomach. And I just said to Greg, hurry up and ring triple zero. We're burning, please. It's, it's, it, it, we're in pain, please, please. I just fell to pieces. I, I couldn't think straight. It was just tra so traumatic watching my family just being burnt, you know, and, and in so much pain. It was just, it was devastating. Come on, let's go to the bathroom. Come on. I know. It's okay. No, no, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. A kerosene lamp has exploded all over Susie and her three young children. Don't touch them. 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 The kids' instincts was first to touch the, their injuries. Please don't touch it! Please don't touch it! I know! Go, go, go! I know it's getting a little bit. It's okay, it's okay, we'll get through this, honey. So, guys, keep the water up to it. Just put it up. It's okay. Looking into their eyes, all of them, you know, just the, the fear in the boys' eyes, especially. That was terrible. Now get the towel off it. Just don't touch it, don't touch it. It was really bad. Skin was all peeling off and all that. I looked down at my stomach and was shocked that this stuff would happen to me. It's just... Wow. The scariest part was the thought of losing my, my kids. Him. It's almost impossible to imagine what Susie's feeling right now. At least help is nearby. It's okay, it's okay. We'll In their suburban bathroom, Susie and her children are still running water over their blistered bodies. Keep the water up to it there, keep. They're all out the back, my wife as well. I just remember there was a lot of crying and screaming and um, the kids were in severe pain, the mother was in severe pain. The deeper the burn, the more serious it is and the more percentage of the body's being burnt, the more serious it is because you're going to start losing fluid uh, through the burns and it can become life-threatening. I ended up going to the hospital in the city while the kids went to the children's hospital. 
And that was a terrible feeling because I couldn't be by their side, you know, after I'd just done this to them and now I couldn't be with them. It's fine, it's fine, it's just damn it, Pam, please. I could have lost them. And it wasn't long before that that we were all laughing and, and um, planning to, to go away on our holiday.